Are you interested in buying cryptocurrency, but you're not sure where to start? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to use Binance, which is the largest cryptocurrency exchange, to set up an account, to fund our account through a linked bank account, and then use those funds to buy cryptocurrency, Bitcoin in this case. Uh, I'll also show you how to just use a credit card or a debit card to buy cryptocurrency directly through Binance. And I'll even show you how to use cryptocurrency that you might already have and that you will have if you follow along to buy another cryptocurrency or to convert that cryptocurrency into something else. So for in this case, it's going to be buying Ethereum with Bitcoin. Uh, I'll also show you the basic security protocols that you'll need to use when setting up an account in this way. So if you like this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. We have lots of other videos on these topics. And let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first step is to set up your account. You'll just come here to the Binance website. You'll go to register now. You'll put in your email address. You'll create a secure password. You'll take a look at the Binance terms and conditions. Once you've gone through that and you agree to everything, you'll check the I have read and agree to the terms of service. You'll create an account. An email will be sent to your email address in which you will verify your account and then your account is created. You can then log in to your new Binance account. All right, so once you have your account created, you'll first want to, before anything else, enable two-factor authentication. This is just a basic security measure that essentially requires that when you log into your account, you'll need to have your phone on you and your phone, your authenticator app is going to generate a code and you'll put in that code. So basically what this does is no one is going to be able to log into your account unless they have your phone and your Binance username and your Binance password. So you'll set that up by going here to this little profile icon. You'll go to security and you'll see here Google authentication. Okay. And we want to turn this on. So click on and You'll want to have your email open because it's going to send a code to your email and you'll want to download the Google authentication app. And I'll go ahead and pop into my phone so you can see what that looks like. I'll take you through the whole process real quick. Okay, so number one, let's download the app. We just go to Google Play Store, type in Google Authenticator. Now I've already downloaded it, but uh, you go ahead and download it. This is the first screen you're gonna see. Get started. You're gonna see scan QR code. So go ahead and click that. And you'll, on your screen here, once to go to next, it's gonna bring up this QR code. Uh, don't worry about this code for the moment. Just, there we go. So we've uh, scanned the QR code on our screen with our phone. You hit next, and at this point, you'll want to go ahead and write this down. So just keep that somewhere safe in case you lose your phone or your SIM card gets destroyed or something like that. All right, so at this point, open up your email, and then you'll hit send code. And within a couple seconds, yep, there we go. You're gonna receive an email from Binance, put in the verification code. And then you'll wanna go back to your Google Authenticator app and you'll want to enter in that two-factor authentication code. And that's it, there you go. After you've completed the two-factor authentication setup, the next thing you'll want to do is verify your identity and your address. You'll come up here to the profile icon. You'll go to identification. And you'll see here, personal details verify. Whenever you verify your personal details, it will open up various options within Binance. Uh, a couple of the interesting ones are, you'll be able to increase your withdrawal limit to 100 Bitcoins. Although if you're withdrawing 100 Bitcoins at this point, I'd be pretty impressed. It also increases the deposit limits for various local currencies. So let's go ahead and do verify. 
Now I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to go through this because it's a straightforward process, but the main thing is that you'll need some kind of identification. Um, you'll need, I use my driver's license, you can use your passport. Uh, it looks like you can also use a visa here. You'll start this process, and again, I'm not gonna go through all of this, but you basically just enter your information here, and you uh, click on this, and then you click continue. Now, after you have verified your personal details here, the next thing you want to do is verify your address. This is also a straightforward process. You'll need some kind of official document that shows your, your address. So I just use my internet bill. Also, at some point, it's going to ask you for some kind of photo identification. And to do that, I just use my phone. So the whole process of verifying your personal details and going through your address verification, for me, it took from beginning to end about 15 minutes, very straightforward process. So now we're ready to actually fund our account. So go to buy crypto, go to bank deposit. Now here in Australia, we have something called pay ID. And basically it's just a fast way to make transactions from your bank accounts. So I'm gonna choose my Australian dollar here. Now, if you don't have pay ID, you'll surely have something relatively close to this and you'll just have to figure out uh, how that goes. But for me and for anyone else using pay ID, all you need to do, type in the amount here. Note that the first pay ID transfer you make takes up to 24 hours and anything after that is instantaneous. You go to continue and now you need to go into your app on your phone and make the transfer from there. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like on my banking app and yours should, yours should be pretty similar. The process will be the same. So I'll just pull this up here. I'll go to pay and transfer. I go to pay someone, make sure we're logged on. I hit the plus. I go to more, I find email address. Now, the tricky part is this. You need to type in this email address exactly as it's shown on screen. Don't make a mistake. All right, whenever this pops up, just confirm that it's the same as what you see on the screen here. Be very careful. Now, once you have it here as a pay ID, uh, you can go ahead and put in the amount for me, I'm just going to put, uh, you know, Binance test, something like that. So go ahead and when you do this process the first time, test with a small amount, because as you can see, it's a 0% fee, so it's no big deal. So once you do this and you hit next, it's going to go through the confirmation process. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again, but that's all there is to it. The first time you go through this process, it will require 24 hours for the funds to arrive in your Binance Cash account. Any deposits after that will be instantaneous. After we've gone through that process, we can confirm our cash deposit by going to Wallet, Overview. And down here on the left, you'll see Transaction History. Let's change it to cash because this was a deposit to our cash account. And here's that deposit of $100. You can see that it was done through pay ID. It was for $100 Oops. and the fee was $0. Now I've done this twice for this account. The first time that I did it, I can confirm that it did take 24 hours. The second time that I did it, which was just now, it was instantaneous and all future, all subsequent deposits in this manner are going to be instantaneous. So now let's go ahead and use these funds to actually buy cryptocurrency. What we'll do is go to buy crypto. We'll go to cash balance. And note that there's for Australian dollars, $80 minimum and up to 15,000. We can select what token we want to buy. In this case, it's going to be Bitcoin. We're going to use our cash balance. If you need to increase your cash balance, you can click this top up icon here. But currently we're fine. We have 100 AUD. We're going to go ahead and buy 100 AUD of Bitcoin. And we hit buy BTC. It shows us about how much we're going to get. It shows us the fee, 0%. Total spend, 100 AUD. I have read and agree. Okay, check that and confirm.
Processing, okay, let's go to refresh. There we go, purchase completed. Check your balance at Spot Wallet. Let's go ahead and do that. Here in our Fiat and Spot Wallet, we get a good overview of all of the assets that we own and what the value of those assets are in terms of Bitcoin and in terms of whatever currency we have it set to here. I'm just gonna put it back in AUD. So we can see how much Bitcoin we own. I also own a little bit of Ethereum, but before we get into this, let's actually just look at the transaction that we just completed in which we bought Bitcoin. And to see that, you'll need to go to orders and go to buy crypto history. So here we can see that purchase that we just made. So we can see that we used our cash balance. We used a hundred dollars, a hundred Australian dollars. And when we made that purchase, Bitcoin was trading at 48,123.195 Australian dollars per Bitcoin. We paid no fees. And the final amount of Bitcoin that we acquired is shown right here. And then of course we see the date and the time and that the status is complete. So now that we've purchased Bitcoin using a linked bank account and funding our cash account, which we then use to buy Bitcoin, we can go to method two, which is using a credit or debit card to just buy Bitcoin directly. So what you'll do is you'll go to buy crypto. I'm going to ensure that I'm using the type of fiat currency that I intend. I'm going to choose credit or debit card. I'll take note of the minimum amount of purchase here. So we can see 25 Australian dollars. I'm going to choose whatever token it is that I want to buy. In this case, it's going to be Bitcoin. Now I've already made a purchase, so I don't have to fill in my credit card information. But if you are doing this for the first time, you may have to go ahead and put your credit card information in here. So I'll just go ahead and type in my code. Oh, make sure I have the amount in here. Let's say it's hundred dollars Buy Bitcoin. And it's going to give you some confirmation details. Now, note that there's a fee. When you use a credit card or a debit card, there is a 1% fee. With the bank account, there was no fee. So make sure that you are okay with the terms of use, privacy policy, make sure that's checked there. And then you'll hit confirm. Now, I've already made my purchase, so I'm not going to do this again, but it's very straightforward. And there you go. That's how you use a credit or debit card to purchase uh, Bitcoin using Binance. The process for both credit and debit card is going to be the same. So now again, let's go take a look at this transaction. We'll go again to orders. We will go to crypto history, buy crypto history. And I'm going to look here at my fees. And as you can see, there's a $1 fee here. This is because I used my credit card. And again, gives you all the details that you need to know to track that transaction. So now that we have those two methods of buying Bitcoin, let's now go over the third method of acquiring cryptocurrency through Binance, which is basically using cryptocurrency that you already own to buy another cryptocurrency. So in this case, we're going to use the Bitcoin that we've now acquired to buy Ethereum or really convert our Bitcoin to Ethereum. So first thing, let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at how much Bitcoin we now have to work with. So I'll go to wallet. I'll go to fiat and spot. This is showing our fiat and spot wallet down here. We can see the amount of Bitcoin that we have to work with. And also below this, you'll see Ethereum. Now I already have a little bit, but we're going to buy more for this example. There are a few ways to get to this trade page and we're gonna use the simple trade inf interface, the most basic trade interface. There are a few ways to get to it, but from this page, you can just go over here to convert or you, you can go up here to the top and go to convert from any page on the platform essentially. It's going to bring you here. We're going to change the from to Bitcoin because we're going to go from Bitcoin to Ethereum and we will choose Ethereum here. There is a minimum amount of Bitcoin that we can trade, but if you want to see the maximum amount that you can trade, which is basically everything in this account, you can just choose max here. It's going to populate that. Now I want to trade actually just the minimum for this example. So I'll change this to 0.001 Bitcoin and I'll do preview conversion. 
This is going to give us basically a quote for the market price of trading Bitcoin to Ethereum. Oh, little error here. That's okay. We'll just click preview conversion again. Now you'll notice that this quote will rapidly expire, but here we go. That's how much bit Ethereum we can get for the amount of Bitcoin that we're using. Quote expired. Um, because this is essentially a market order and the market is moving very fast, we need to confirm this, this trade rather quickly. So I'll go ahead and hit the refresh button. And once it refreshes, we need to quickly confirm the trade. So I'll just go ahead and hit refresh here. Okay, looks fine and convert. In progress. There we go, successful. We've converted 0 0.001 Bitcoin to 30.66901 Ether. We can go ahead and view the status. And here in our trade history, this is our convert trade history. We can see that we've gone from Bitcoin to Ether. We've gone from 0 0.001 Bitcoin to this amount of Ether right here. And we can see it here as well. And we see that the trade was successful. Now, note that we are not in our buy crypto history. If we go to the buy crypto history and review it the same way that we did when we bought Bitcoin earlier, you'll note even if we click convert here, you won't see this trade. You need to actually go to the convert history, which is down here. And now we can see that conversion trade. And the other way to get to it is just by going up to orders and then going down here to convert history. And you can see it here as well. So that's the third method. All right, so you've now set up an account and you have bought some Bitcoin if you followed along. So congratulations. Um, now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We have a lot of other great content on buying, selling, trading, holding um, cryptocurrency, using it in your business, security measures, etc. Also, if you are going to set up an account, please consider using our referral code. So it helps out this channel. It's an affiliate link. I'd really appreciate it. Help us get some new equipment. Um, and until next time, be the best.